I Happy appreciate day. you coming up for us, uh, talking with us. How's practice today? Uh, practice was pretty good. We had, uh, I feel like one of our best days so far. The energy, the energy was real up there. Like, uh, I feel like everybody was intense, and we was. Uh, I feel like we played intense to the close details. This defensive practice, and it showed up pretty well. Coach is saying uh, he talked to you guys about, about passion because. Uh, I mean, it could be a grind. I think you guys are about a week in now. How do, how do you guys avoid kind of that lull in camp? Uh, really just talk to yourself. Don't listen to yourself. You know, just stand. It's a it's a mental grind at the same time. Like, of course, being in fall camp, everything's going to take a little toll on your body. Just talking to yourself and motivating yourself to keep going, push through that, and you will. You in that defensive line room have been with the same group of guys for a couple of years now. What's that dynamic like? Uh, it's... I love those guys, man. Uh, we all push each other, and we all we all push each other to get to the, get to the next level and to get to the next spot. It's competition within the room, so everything is just like a boost to keep everybody to keep everybody within their within their head to make sure they do their job. Does it change how you guys do things day to day? I mean, I imagine there's less need to like spend time learning different things. You guys are all pretty advanced. Does it have an impact? Uh, we're pretty advanced, but we like to we like to hone in and keep focus on the basic things because we got to come at the end of the day we got to come back to our basic things that then uh, when it's all said and done and be able to work at our level what's the depth like in in that room seems like you guys may be maybe up to three guys deep at all the spots yeah we're pretty we're pretty deep i think we got about 15 guys uh way beyond three deep and i, I can't say that i feel like well, we got some freshmen, and I feel like they can go too. But once they learn and get comfortable within the playbook, I feel like they'll have a good chance to play too. But besides besides the freshmen, the the other guys we got is we is is like I said, it's real actual competition in the room. So everybody is not just spots giving out. Everybody's working for everything. How does that impact you individually? Just knowing there's guys behind you who can come in and contribute. Oh, that keeps me sharp because I know I got guys behind me that could actually play. So I gotta step up my game and just keep on where I'm at to keep it not necessarily keep ahead, but make sure I'm doing what I'm doing to stay where I'm at. You guys felt pretty good about your depth last year too. In games, does it allow you to, you know, maybe go a little bit harder? You don't have to pace yourself. Does it change something in that sense? Oh, for sure. Knowing I could give my all and the next man up that's right behind me could do the same thing, it just always feels amazing. So when I'm out there, just like last year, like if I if I not go in there and absolutely give my best, like every play, knowing that somebody's gonna come in and get me and do the do their job the exact same way, I feel I feel comfortable doing that. Anybody in that room who's taken a big step forward from last year this year who you could highlight? Um, I would say I would say T T Breezy, uh, Tremaine Bell, he gained he put some weight on from last season because um, he wanted to, and I feel like that's going to that's gonna help him as far with his power because he's not as small anymore. So just him making that step and then still keeping his speed, just still keeping his speed up with the gain and the weight, I feel like I, I feel like he's going to make some plays this year. How'd you feel about your season individually last year? Uh, my season individually last year, I think I was okay. I mean, I made – don't get it wrong. I made my plays, and I did – I did – as far as checking the box, I did everything that I wanted to do, but like I need I'm right now I'm just thinking about just how how can I contribute more and help my teammates more and uh just show up more in the big moments. What are those areas? Is there ways you've improved from last year to this year? Uh really just within myself, just uh staying hydrated. That's really that's really it, making sure I could go whenever I needed to need to go, even like overtime situations, just being able to go to go extra, that's all. What are some of your goals for this season, personally and for the team? Uh, I like to keep my my personal uh, goals this close. I'm really, mm -hmm. I'm really about the team. I just want to help my guys get forward and win. How far do you think the team can go this year? Uh, I think I the triangle right here behind us. Uh, as long as we follow, as long as we follow the triangle mm -hmm. and uh, follow the culture pillars and uh, lead the leaders lead, everything go out how we want it to go. You're one of the older guys on the team now. Do you find yourself taking more of a leadership role because of that? Oh, for sure. Um, I feel like I could be a little more vocal, but I, I don't. We have a vocal guy, a side Simon. He talks a lot for us, but I talk a lot. I just I just talk when I need to talk. That's how I feel like. And the guys, they listen whenever I do. And I just lead by example for the most part. But 
I for sure could talk a little bit more, but they they understand me. I know, yeah, I'm I'm for sure a bit here right now. What's your reaction now to being in a league with your old school as the defending champ and the preseason favorite? Uh, <laughs> um, it feel it feels good to be honest, uh, knowing that we got them possibly twice. I it's it's something that's stamped that I'm looking forward to. That program obviously made a huge jump last year to get to the level that they were at. Did you, you know, see signs that there was something there when you were had your time there, or what did you um, stand out? It was it was something there when I was there. They were just in the process of rebuilding with the coaches and stuff like that. But uh, it's incredible to see their jump from what, from when I was there to now. But I'm 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 real ready to see them. Yeah. Were you keeping an eye on them last year? Did you follow that season at all? Uh, I followed them. I followed them a little bit, just just not as much as. I follow my guys. I'm just trying to stay into my team. You still have friends over there? Uh, yeah, I got a couple guys over there. Really, really a lot of guys since I'm from there on the team and stuff like that that I keep in touch with. But uh, on the football, on the football <laughs> level, they know they they know they got it coming.